Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 23rd, 2020. So today we have God and immediately when this popped out, God is reclaiming the earth. Now you can call God whatever you're comfortable with. I have a very wide audience, so <laughs> whatever whatever that means to you or even if you're listening and you're like, huh, I don't know what I believe in or what, it's, it's all good. The whole point here is for you to have some spark of awareness, you know, when you watch these videos. And despite whatever the message might seem like on the surface, walk away knowing that it was absolutely set out of love and to help. Okay. So again, I want to make it clear. It does not matter what you believe in so long as you were getting something out of this. Okay. <laughs> some bit of revelation or love. So God will reclaim. I'm going to use the word God. Uh, you uh, edit that in the way that is right for you. Uh, and this is something, I, I feel like it starts in our cells. It starts within us. Yeah, it very much is a revelation. There is something where it was like, Ooh, you get, we all get set straight. Now <laughs> that is going to be a different experience for every single person. But it, what it's doing is it's breaking away the, the barriers to our ultimate joy. Now, some people have tried to access that joy by being in denial through avoidance. And as I've explained in past videos, I know what it is to survive abuse. It's like coming out of the woods and being banged up and bruised and going, yeah, but I'm glad I made it out, but there's still other people trapped in there. We need help. We need help. And people going, you know what? Love and light. I, please, you're being so negative. Oh my gosh. Will you stop? You're such a downer. God is going to come in and set things straight, but it's going to be within us. Now that's not to say you know, that you need to jump into action and save everybody. That's not what we're saying. But a little bit of listening and understanding goes a very, very, very long way. Compassion. And not misdirected compassion. I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people feel bad for people who are in the darkness, who are choosing the darkness, who are harming other people. Oh, just send them love. I mean, yeah, like I said, I said this a couple days ago, I think, you know, you send them love in your prayers, but don't step on the necks of the, the abused in order to look like a big person, like you're so spiritual that you can love anybody. You don't like that? Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. You better, <laughs> you better figure it out because the days are here. I can't say it loud enough, often enough. Whether it gets through to people or not, I, there's only so much I can do here, okay? God is going to set things straight. Now, what might that look like? Well, I think for most of us, it's going to be like, ew, ooh, yeah, that whole world. Uh, what, 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 we said that a couple of days ago. What, accountability, I think it was? Yeah. Responsibility? Yeah. <laughs> and we're all going to be in for it. So uh, the people that it will hit the hardest are the ones who are in the deepest sleep. Now that if you're in a deep sleep, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're bad. It just means it's gonna, it's like someone turning on the light when you've been in a completely dark room. So don't be scared <laughs> if you're one of those people and all of a sudden it just, it's blaring in your face. Uh, this could be very positive in that you get answers. For some people, it feels like, um, you know, the way you remembered a situation you know, like that person did this, this, and this to me. It's all about the blame. It's all, but you can't help it because you are hurt, right? Now the light comes on. You go, oh, oh, I'm not completely disempowered when it comes to that memory. Those people don't get to have my childhood. You can't damage my soul. No, it's infinite. It's pure. It's not really, it's, it's functioning behind the story. But it isn't the story. And how amazing is that? That no matter what, no one can have that piece of you. No matter what, some people on the surface might say, 
you can turn things around. God is reclaiming his children. Oh my God, Michelle, that sounds so creepy. <laughs> I don't mean it in a creepy way. I think that, you know, for some, it's going to be a very positive experience. For others, it's going, you know, it's going to knock them down further, perhaps. And it's because they don't know how to create their own light. And initially, they're going to expect everyone to keep providing for them energetically. But they're even coming here and saying, you, you may help once energetically. I'm not talking about somebody who hits on hard times and they need food. I mean, that's, that's different. Help them, okay? If you can help, help. But I'm talking about people who, again, they think, like just as an example, that this whole situation that's going on in the world right now, it's only happening to them. I had somebody say, you know what? I have friends. It wasn't even her who was going through it. She said, I have friends who have small businesses, um, so do I, uh, who aren't making it right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, but the way she was putting it, it was like she was trying to use her friend's situation almost to get sympathy for herself. That was just kind of how it was playing out. And uh, she got very nasty about it. So that's what we're talking about. The people who think that this is only happening to them, they're not going to have the best time here. Okay, but what I want to say to the rest of you out there is that when they're calling you up crying and going, oh, I need you right now, I, and I'm pulling on this example from past experiences, um, I need you right now, I'm going to manipulate you until you get over here and feel sorry for me. They're saying you may help once, and it is your only shot to say, I love you, if that's what you feel. I know that you can do this for yourself. I know you can get yourself through this. Offer whatever you can by way of support in um, how they can create their own light. Okay. Offer that to them. And then they're saying retreat. I'm not kidding when I say, guys, <laughs> the civil war is on. There's an energetic war. I know that's a human way of putting it. Forgive the word. But, um, you know, it, it's happening. It's right now. We don't have the luxury to keep pretending. We don't have the luxury to keep looking away. Michelle, I can't listen to you anymore. You're too heavy in what you talk about. Well, that's unfortunate. Because you're the one I'm talking to the most. You're the one I'm trying to warn. You don't want to listen? That's okay. But don't go siphoning off of everybody else when this hits you like a ton of bricks. The warning call has been sent. And they're even telling me now to retreat. So I'm not going to give any more energy into that. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've done my job there and uh, we'll just have to see how it all plays out. All right. So I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.